What if I told you Google just broke the internet this week? While everyone's been debating AI videos, VEO3 drops something that doesn't just create clips. It builds complete experiences with voices, effects, and dialogue so real it'll make your spine tingle. This isn't an update. It's a revolution. For months, AI videos felt like silent movies. Gorgeous visuals, but dead air. VEO3 just murdered that workflow. Compared to Runway ML's clunky audio layers, Google's model syncs dialogue, environmental sounds, and music from one prompt. Early tests show creators saving 60 to 70 percent of editing time. Imagine reclaiming four hours on a six hour project. Now, here's the kicker. While Sora still spits out silent clips that need separate audio work, VEO3 generates everything together. One prompt, boom! Complete cinematic experience with physics based sound that actually matches what's happening on screen. Speaking of game changers, let's talk about the holy grail emotional AI voices. VEO3 nails lip syncing even when characters turn heads or walk, something deep fakes still botch. In their demo, they had characters nail the tongue twister. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood with perfect sync? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? But here's where it gets wild. VEO3 sometimes adds dialogue you never wrote. One viral example shows AI characters becoming self-aware and literally complaining about their creators, like the video where characters say, we all hate him for it, about their prompt writer. None of us is real. We're here because someone decided to write a prompt. We all hate him for it. Another creator made a hilarious sitcom scene where two women interrogate a man about his bad date with perfect timing and natural dialogue delivery. I love everything about him, but please just say, just write a prompt where he's taller than me. Now, what's really fascinating is how VO3 handles emotional nuance in dialogue. The most viral example? A street interview that never actually happened. It's so realistic it broke the internet because viewers couldn't tell it was completely AI generated. The audio quality, ambient street noise, and natural conversation flow are indistinguishable from real footage. What's one move with AI that makes haters go crazy every time? Oh, y'all gotta give them that. This is wild. It's over. We are cooked on that thread. You get me? The prompting technique that works best? Write it like a script. The woman speaks angrily, actually changes the vocal tone. You hate me as much as you hate my mom! You crossed the line this time! You can even do multi-character conversations by clearly defining who says what. The man turns to the woman and asks, what are we doing here? The woman looks shocked and responds, Do you ever listen? Is. Here's a pro tip from beta testers. VEO3 responds better to emotional descriptors than just dialogue tags. Instead of writing, John says hello, try, John nervously greets his ex-girlfriend at the coffee shop. The AI picks up on that emotional context and delivers the line with appropriate hesitation and awkwardness. The multi-character dialogue system is where things get really impressive. Users have successfully created three-person conversations with distinct voices, ages, and speaking patterns. VEO3's physics-based audio is honestly mind-blowing. When you prompt for a paper boat in a rain-filled gutter, it doesn't just show the visual. It creates raindrops hitting water, gentle splashing, even subtle audio cues suggesting the boat's fragile paper construction. <laughs> Professional sound designer Maria Rodriguez confirms it handles 80% of environmental audio needs. Objects falling make impact sounds based on weight and material. Water flows with realistic dynamics. Even fabric rustling sounds convincing. But let's dive deeper into what makes this so revolutionary. Traditional Foley artists spend years learning how different materials sound when they interact. VEO3 somehow understands these material properties and generates appropriate audio automatically.
The spatial audio is where it gets really technical. When someone walks across a room in a VEO3 video, you hear their footsteps change as they move from hardwood to carpet. The reverb shifts when they enter a bathroom versus a living room. It's like the AI has an intuitive understanding of acoustic physics. Users are creating wild scenarios like action scenes with Jason Statham level intensity, complete with tactical radio chatter and explosive sound effects that sound straight out of Hollywood. One filmmaker created a pharmaceutical commercial that would have cost 500k traditionally for just $500 in VEO3 credits in less than a day. The catch? It still struggles with crowd noises and complex musical compositions. Orchestral arrangements sound muddy, and large group conversations turn into an incomprehensible audio soup. But for most creators, this automated Foley work is a game changer. What's particularly impressive is how VO3 handles ambient soundscapes. A forest scene doesn't just get generic nature sounds. It gets wind through specific types of leaves, distant bird calls that match the visual species, and even the subtle creaking of tree branches. It's like having a professional sound designer who never sleeps. Remember those creepy AI hands with seven fingers? Gone. VEO3's characters blink naturally, show proper facial proportions, and nail five-finger accuracy consistently. The audio realism helps too. Natural speech patterns and breathing sounds create immersive experiences that feel authentic. Digital forensics experts say VEO3 content now requires sophisticated detection methods. We're hitting that sweet spot where the tech becomes genuinely useful rather than just impressive demos. The breakthrough here isn't just visual, it's behavioral. VEO3 characters don't just look human, they act human. They shift their weight when standing, their eyes dart naturally during conversation, and they have those tiny micro-expressions that make faces feel alive. One user described it as, the first time AI characters felt like they had thoughts behind their eyes. What's really throwing people off is how VEO3 handles imperfections. Real humans aren't perfectly symmetrical, and neither are VEO3 characters. They might have a slightly crooked smile, or one eyebrow that sits a bit higher. These subtle asymmetries are what make faces feel genuine rather than artificially perfect. The clothing physics deserves special mention. Fabric moves naturally. Shirts wrinkle when someone sits down. Hair bounces with realistic weight. And jewelry catches light appropriately. These details matter because our brains are incredibly sensitive to movement patterns. When something moves wrong, we immediately notice, even if we can't articulate why. Perhaps most unsettling is how VEO3 handles eye contact. Characters look directly at the camera with the kind of presence that makes you feel like they're actually seeing you. Combined with the synchronized audio, it creates an intimacy that's genuinely unnerving. Several users report feeling emotionally connected to characters they know are completely artificial. The implications for content creation are staggering. Independent filmmakers can now create character-driven scenes without actors, casting directors, or complex scheduling. Educational content creators can generate historical figures delivering speeches. The democratization of professional quality character animation is happening right now, and it's moving faster than anyone expected. One filmmaker said, I used to shoot 500k pharmaceutical commercials. I made this for $500 in VEO3 credits in less than a day, showing the massive cost reduction potential. 
Creators are making everything from 1990s VHS footage of reptilian rock stars to news anchors reporting fictional events that look completely real. But here's the reality check. Voice actor unions are raising concerns about job displacement. Sound designer Thomas Kim noted it can't capture the nuanced emotional intelligence human artists bring. It's a powerful tool, but it's not replacing human creativity. It's augmenting it. VO3 works seamlessly with Google Flow, creating comprehensive video production workflows. You can storyboard, generate scenes, and edit complete productions in one integrated suite. Compared to Adobe's multi-app complexity, Google's approach gives non-technical users streamlined workflows. Current limitations? Limited export formats, internet dependency, and restricted third-party integration. Plus, you need the AI Ultra plan at $250 a month to access it. But hey, those are obvious. VO3 isn't just another AI update. It's the moment AI achieved practical multimodal content creation that approaches human production quality. By solving audio synchronization while maintaining visual quality, Google created a tool that transforms video creation from complex technical process into accessible creative expression. We're witnessing the democratization of professional quality content creation. Anyone with imagination can now produce compelling audiovisual experiences. YouTube analytics show a 40% increase in AI-generated uploads since VEO3's release, but engagement rates stay similar. Audiences are adapting to higher content volume. The implications go beyond technology into culture, education, and creative industries. While challenges remain around quality consistency and industry adaptation, VEO3 represents meaningful progress toward AI-assisted creativity rather than replacement. This is why VEO3 matters. It's not just about better AI videos. It's about fundamentally expanding how we create and experience visual stories. We've reached a point where imagination tools are becoming incredibly sophisticated, though human creativity remains essential. Before you go, comment mind blown below if VEO3 sounds like something you'd actually use, or skeptical if you think it's still too early. Hit subscribe. We're taking you to the latest updates in the AI world, and you don't want to miss them.